All right, guys. So we in the last video we saw like how to load the fonts. We used uh, the CDN. We included the Google uh, CDN on the top, and also called the font family. Now we also can import it using the uh, if you want to import it using CSS import. So we need to include this into the style tag, and then you can do. Now in this video we want to see what if we don't want to use CDN. We simply want to have this font file the particular font we are using in our project and from there we want to load the font so to do that uh, we can do the same procedure similar quite similar what we need to do here is we need to go here and uh, when you're on this page just click on download all it is going to download the font you are you selected so you can see that it's the same font now i go to the download folder and here I have the font. Now I'm going to extract it. So here is the font. This is the file we are more concerned about. I'm just going to cut this file, go into the uh, directory of my files. Uh, so I have the project here and I'm going to create a folder here. I'm going to call it fonts and inside I'm going to paste it. All right, so we have our font here. Now to call this font here, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to remove the CDN so that we can use you know, the file straight from our application folder. And I refresh here, you can see that that font is not working anymore. So to load the font, I'm going to go into style tag and here I'm going to say at font face. All right, so this is uh, the way how you declare it. And then you need to pass a URL. So you say source and source going to be a URL and that URL going to be the path to the font file. So we are in index.html uh, and we have font, fonts folder next to it. So we can simply say that, Let's get that fonts slash, then we have, and you can see that the Visual Studio automatically picked it. So we can select you know, this one. So this way we just included the font now we need to give a custom name to this font so we can call this font. So I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say here font uh, family and we need to call this font something. So what I'm going to say, I'm just going to copy the font original name. I'm going to put here and I'm going to use this name when we use the uh, font here. So uh, here I'm just going to call the font. All right, now to see if it is working or not, we need to refresh the page, so let's do that. I go to the browser, refresh, and we have the font working. So this is how you use it. Now you need to have your font file present in your directory, but should be correct, and it is going to work. Now in the last video, I also said the only first font loads, the first, if it is not available, then the second. So if you want to make sure your fonts are working right, make sure the desired font is the first because if I put the Arial here instead of the custom font that we included, uh, we won't get that one because it is going to load Arial. So refresh, you can see that. Okay, so I hope you got this and I'm going to leave the code in the description. You can download it if you want it. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Oh, is not in her